Hi, Carrie Cutler here, author of Math Positive Mindsets, Growing a Child's Mind Without Losing Yours. And I'm here with Knox, my five-year-old son, and we're learning a little bit about counting today. Hey, Knox, can you count all these shapes for me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, okay. seventeen. Okay, let's slow down a little bit. No, that was 18, right? Oh, I don't know. I think you were skipping some, and I think you counted some twice. One, two. So, Knox, this time when you count them, look at Mommy. This time when you count them, can you put them over here when you're done counting it? Okay. So, pick it up and bring it over here. And One. Say, Good. Two. Three. Four. Five. Stick your tongue out a little. Six, 13, 14, 15. 15, you got it. Excellent job, Knox. 16. So sometimes when kids are first learning how to count, they are a little bit confused about some of the most important parts of counting. And they are good with the counting sequence, but they get excited and they count too fast. They either count things twice, or sometimes they'll skip them, or they'll skip numbers. So there are a few tips that you can use to help kids count with what we call one-to-one -one correspondence. That is using one number for each item. That one-to-one -one correspondence is important. So some things that you can do to help with that are to literally have them move knocks, no hammering right now, move those blocks to the other side of the table. Or you can gently put your hand on the child's hand and help them point. And when you're pointing, if you get a little rhythm where you bounce your finger up like this, that will help them slow down too and not skip. It might also help for you to say to them, can you count slowly and loudly? You'd be surprised how effective that is for helping kids slow down and think a little more cautiously about their counting. Um, there are lots of other ideas about counting in my book, Math Positive Mindsets, Growing a Child's Mind Without Losing Yours. I hope you'll check it out. Thanks.